Good morning. I'm going to uh, the middle of Times Square to ask some questions at the offices of the Times Square Alliance. Hopefully to help Jimmy and Dan film today. We'll see if it happens. Their company name is Sneaky Boy. My company name is not Sneaky Boy. So I try not to sneak around if I can avoid it. Because, you know, like last night. Besides, people are usually like pretty cool about people trying to do cool things in cool places and make cool movies. You know, so there's no reason to break laws if you don't have to. I'm uh, walking in the horse lane in Central Park, thinking about stuff. It's my last like couple days here in the city, listening to podcasts, an interview with uh, Chris Saka, and on a new podcast that I've never listened to before called Why Not Now, that reminds me a lot of some of my own projects. It's a really cool concept, and she's gotten some incredible guests, the host Amy Jo, by just having a really specific concept. She talks about the why not now moments in entrepreneurs' lives with them. So anyway, uh, listening to that, thinking about what the last two weeks in New York has meant to me and remembering some of the recap videos that I did in San Francisco. Um, and also interfering with crosswalks. Um, it just, I don't know, there's something about being in a big city that like most of the meaning we get in our lives as humans comes from interactions with other people and big cities are just like uh, that writ large right it's just a very intense version of uh, all the like meaning and opportunity that you get from interaction act, acting with other people because there are so many different social circles in one place and it's just a really really cool thing that humans have come up with here I learned recently that New York is three times the size of any other US city LA coming closest in second. Oh wow, it's still recording. So, New York. New York is the first biggest US city by three times. LA, the closest second, is three million people. New York is nine million people. And that's like a pretty big deal. You think about the biggest cities in China and like they're all about the same size, Shanghai and Beijing, all around 30 million people. Uh, it's interesting that there's just one capital of people in the US and it is essentially a state-sized city uh, it's it's 10 million people in one place um, and so I think that's probably why I've enjoyed New York as much as I have a lot more than San Francisco uh, and it's felt a lot more like free and open and full of opportunities and exciting um, I'm tempted like every day to start a project that I do not have time to, to finish uh, with a new thing that I'm curious about here and so I really like that uh, but it's also a bit distracting I'm about to go spend two weeks in LA and it'll be interesting to compare the two I just wanted to give you some of my thoughts on it I like this place and I know I'll come back but I feel like it's a better place for me later in life than it is for me now it's not it's not for me right now there are a lot of people who belong here and I'm not I'm not one of them I will be but not yet. So that's how I feel after two weeks. It's been a really, really good time. Uh, I like this two week situation where I get to pretend like I live somewhere. It's really nice. It's not, you know, the best deal in real estate, but it is affordable and doable and I'm really excited about it. It's a cool opportunity. Thanks for tagging along. See you in the next video.